She's the prison school administrator. Nancy, oh God, how do I talk about her without talking about myself? Um, she's tough, she's haggard, she's been the administrator in a prison for years, years. She probably, it was probably her first job and she's still there. And teachers come and go because nobody lasts very long except this little motley crew she's got now. So she's over it all. She's just, she's over the whole thing. And, and the, having to take on a new guy who's coming from, what, kindergarten? Really? And he's so wimpy and just not living up to it. And I'm like, I don't want to do this. See, we're shooting. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, uh, she, she, except she, Rolling. she does. Thank you. Kurt actually took a workshop that I lead called the Performer's Mastery, and he was really generous enough with his own time going through this workshop for himself to actually allow us to film him and his process in this workshop from start to finish. So. Um, I, 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 I feel I, I know Kurt well, I led the workshop that he did, and he gave us a really lovely overview of what happens in this workshop because he allowed us to follow him. So um, uh, that's how I know Kurt, and I know him to be a very funny guy, and I know that he actually did teach in prisons, and so he's got some good stories. Who else can I introduce? <laughs> oh, here's Kurt. And here's Kurt, the writer. And remember, See, when you shoot... Oh, I'm, I, I'm interrupting Linda Darlow. <laughs> Noon level of dumb. What were you saying? What? Go ahead. Did you just call me dumb? No, me. I'm a new level of dumb for interrupting oh, you. But since no, you didn't get that... I just me. said I knew the writer previously, Kurt Purdy. And there you are. And there I so, are. So... I said, come over. <laughs> this is Kurt Purdy. See, He's I'm... written a very funny script. Thank you. Which is why I'm in it. Thank you. Because I love comedy. She's awesome. Awesome. And I'm paying them to say that. It's the, the last check on Mr. Purdy. Oh, so sorry about that. About Moving on. Can transfer? Okay, Your thank friend. you. Okay. Um, He's a very funny guy. <laughs> Kurt's a very... One of the things we worked on the workshop... Uh, with him on, I don't, I don't think he'll mind my saying, <laughs> was being tougher, being stronger, standing up for himself. <laughs> and, and so when I saw this script, and of course Stanley, the character Stanley is actually Kurt's story. Um, yeah, I howled because it was so much Kurt um, in Stanley being the shy, quieter, not wanting to upset anyone character who winds up with some very serious dudes who could do harm. The thing about Kurt is that it, what saves him is his sense of humor. And this script is one of the funniest things I've read in a while. It, it's pretty funny. That's Kurt. Nancy does have a big heart. She just doesn't show it around the office very much. And she is, as she says, Pretty crusty, pretty cantankerous. And apparently, uh, the only reason she puts up with the warden at all is because he signs paychecks. Um, but she runs her department, and she is her department, pretty much, and everybody knows it. And I love parts like that. <laughs> uh, Andrew, this is my first experience of Andrew, personally working with him. Uh, they've, of course, been very generous and very kind and pretty easy to work with. I'm good, tough. I've been around long enough. I stand up for what I believe in, in terms of the script, in terms of my character, wardrobe, all of that stuff. I may seem actually crusty, uh, but I, it's for the good of the show. And Andrew's been great with me about that. <laughs> I think. I trust that Kurt's years and years of education experience in the prison system has given him some
some really good stories. I think it has possibilities. I think it should be considered and should ultimately become a series. Whether I wind up in it or not is, you know, up to the gods, not me. But I, I really uh, want to support what I think is good work with good people and a uh, brilliant idea for a series. I love comedies too. It's a comedy. And we in Vancouver get a lot of comedies to do. We get them an occasional, but this is a funny show. I love comedy. Well, my character doesn't have much on the outside showing, <laughs> but uh, I, it's Kurt's heart. Um, it, 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 actually, he's out of balance in that department. He's so caring and so giving and so loving. And the show has that essence to it, certainly in the character of Stanley. Um, and he and, and I think Andrew too were actually concerned because my character was, you know, like not showing a lot of that heart. But somebody's got to be on the other side of the fence, right? Um, so that the other characters can really uh, show their heart and their bigness. The other thing that I think it's going to be about is prisoners' hearts. That Stanley's mission becomes actually helping people and helping those guys who just, you know, fell into bad luck or did something stupid or whatever. And, uh, and he's there truly to support them and help them. Anybody seen Orange is the New Black? Well, <laughs> one of the things that attracted me to this particular script is that Orange is the New Black is a fabulous show. It's awesome. It's gut-wrenching. This show is the lighter side of the picture. It, it's, it, it, takes, it takes the same kind of stuff, but just doesn't drive it into the dark side of it. It drives it into the lighter side of it. And I think that's why I love comedy so much, because uh, times are tough for everybody. <laughs> The more we can laugh, the more we can look on the lighter side of things. I think the better off we all are, and I think everybody would be happy to spend half an hour watching the lighter side of things. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for being willing to put this thing together and get it out there and to support Kurt in getting it out.